This question is about uh, polychloroethene, commonly known as PVC. Write an equation showing structural formulas for the conversion of chloroethene. So ethene is that. And of course, with any polymerization reaction, always start with the carbon, carbon double bond and put your uh, four bonds up, or two up, two down. And so ethene, so one of them is going to be a chlorine. The other four are going to be uh, hydrogens. Um, so the formation of that is, so these join, so that will be my repeat unit. As the carbon-carbon double bond opens up and joins with a neighbouring molecule. Okay. So, uh, marks for this, so one mark for the correctly drawn uh, structure of chloroethene, one mark for um, PVC, and then one mark for the uh, correct use of the ends in that uh, structure there, or in that equation there. State what you would observe is if bromine water was added to polyvinyl chloroethene. So that's to this, this is PVC, and as you can see, there's no carbon-carbon double bonds in there, so there'll be no, um, no reaction, or it will stay yellow or stay orange, no reaction. And the reason for that is it is saturated. Okay. Uh, part C, plasticizers are often added during the manufacture of PVC. The structure of the plasticizer is shown. Deduce the molecular formula of DEHP and then state why a plasticizer is added. So let's do why the plasticizer is added first, because that's going to be the easiest bit. We know that it makes it more flexible. So it acts as a kind of lubricant between these um, long molecular chains or polymers. So let's kind of see if we can work out the molecular formula for this then. So I'm just going to cross it through as we go through. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four. So C twenty-four. Oops. C twenty-four. And I'm going to do the same again, but I'm now going to add up the hydrogens. Now, key thing about this, um, around each carbon there are four bonds. So you've got to kind of count the carbon-carbon bonds and take it away from four and go along those lines there. So what I'll do is I'll go through each and kind of put the numbers on. So there's three, three here, two there, two there, two here, one here. Okay, two here, three there. It's going to be two here. And then, so just be careful here. Look, if you count around that one there, there's one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So there's none on there. So one, two, three is going to be one here, one here, one here, one here. And then this is the mirror image of it. So two, one, two, two, and three. Then two, three. And if you add all of those up, you get 38. Two, three, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirty, four, fifteen, twenty, twenty, two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, forty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, thirty-eight. There we go. So H. 38. Just checking, I haven't missed any off on there. Yeah, okay. And then the oxygens, that's relatively easy. There's four of them there. 